So hello everybody, how are you today? Um, in today's video I'm going to show you a trick that you can use to share calendars with yourself or with people in your organization, you know, business users, so they don't have to reduce the calendar every time. Now, I hope you don't hear machines in the background because they're building a nice ring in front of me and there's nothing I can do about it. Sorry if you hear the noise, I'll try to clean it afterwards. Anyhow, sharing calendars, how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with data flows and to be able to use data flows, you have to have either a pro account or a premium account. So if you don't have those, sorry, but this trick won't work for you. If you do, this is how you do it. You go to powerbi.com, the service, and then we are going to create a new workspace. We're going to call it, I'm going to call it calendars, but you can actually call it like shared, shared sources. So if you have all the things to share, you can put everything in a workspace and give it to everybody in the organization. We put calendar, save, and then while we're here, you scroll down here, it says create new content. We're going to create a data flow. And data flows, I have a video on that, are basically, uh, it, it, is, it uses Power Query to clean data. And the, you can move any data that you want through a data flow to an Azure data lake. So you move it into the cloud and then it can be reused with anything that you need, okay? So we're going to define a new entity. I, the, the language here is absolutely horrible. So define new entity, which is basically create a new data flow. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to do a blank query because you probably have already a uh, calendar. I definitely do. You can do a calendar, normal calendar. You can do calendar for fiscal years, you know, for finance. You could do calendar for holidays, for marketing. You can have more than one calendar and then share it with the organization. So we go back to our data flow. We paste it in there, the calendar that we created. We go next. We give it a name. This is a fiscal calendar. And uh, probably if you clean everything in Power BI, it would be done correctly. So save and close. And this calendar updates every day. So it will give you a new date, save and close. Uh, it will give you a new date, calendar, save. Refresh now, please. So it will give you a new day every day. But, but you have to schedule refresh it, obviously. Otherwise, you won't do that. So you need to tell this to... So here we have the fiscal calendar. This is mixed now with machine learning. We will talk about that in another in another video. Let's go back to calendars. Here, if we go to data flows, you'll see that we have our data flow here and it is refreshing, which we told them to. You go in there and you say schedule refresh. Yes, please. Every day. And we wanted to have 12 a.m. is 00. zero. You know, it's when the, the day begins. Apply. Okay. And has it refreshed yet? Not sure. Let's try it again. It looks like it refreshed. So how do you do it now? You have created a data flow with the calendar. And then you could have here, again, fiscal calendar, uh, whatever you want, right? So you go, go in here, you go get data, Power BI data flows, Connection is going to import a table. So it's not a live connection that you can then not, you know, import other tables. You will be able to do that. So here we have it. No. Do we get data? Power BI data flows. I have, yeah, I have data flows. Yes, this is the, I have data flows here in social media either. So here, calendar, open that. Fiscal calendar, great. Transform data. You just want to look at it. You don't need to transform. You can just load if you want. But maybe you want to say, okay, I don't want, this is from July 2016. Maybe you say, I don't want from July 2016. Yeah, I want just from 2017. So you can just go 
date and time filters, then you can fit it so you know it works for your data and your data source. And you can say, I don't know, from 7th of July 2017. And then it will filter and then you say close and apply. And now your users don't have to recreate a calendar every time they need it, or you. I mean, so if you are a consultant, this won't work because obviously the data flow is living in your tenant and not your customer tenants. But either way, you can create a data flow to your customer tenant, and here you have the calendar. It's done. So I hope this trick is useful. Make sure you use it. It's a neat way to get started with data flows. And uh, this is all for today. I will see you again on Wednesday with another Power BI video. Until then, take care and bye bye.